very reverend Father Provincial Jerome Marquez. Father Rector Bob Stagura, Rector of Christ the King Seminary, Father Arturo Obmasas, Superior Delegatus, Father Sherwin Arumin, Prefect of Seminarians, Father Manuel Manguito, Spiritual Director, and Father Ron Ray Espartinez, Vice Rector of the Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. My dear Confers, my dear Seminarians, Reverend Sisters, Relatives and Friends, Good afternoon. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Some days earlier, some people asked me whether there would be an invited priest to give the homily for this occasion. With your permission, let us break from this tradition for I believe that to preach about a life spent over half a century and to do so in descriptive language would not give justice to all the things that happened in the many years, many months, weeks, days, hours, and minutes. Besides, a very long homily would surely put many of you to sleep. So I spare you the burden of listening to a long homily and using descriptive language. Instead, this afternoon, we'll use three images because I believe images evoke similar experiences and feelings on your part. Only you are requested to be kind in your interpretation. And when there are gaps and lapses, be generous in your compassion. The first image I would like to use in order to describe the life of an SVD religious missionary priest would be that of embarking on a boat, launching to the deep, and trying to fish. With experiences shared by the fishermen from Mindoro, Shergao and Dinagat, Madang Papua New Guinea, and Tortola in the Caribbean. We learned that to be a fisherman, to be a true fisher of fish, one has to be brave despite the threat of bad weather to launch into the deep, into the dark waters. And one has to be patient, waiting for the fish to bite or to enter into the net. And above all, one has to be prayerful because there are times when the seas become rough, when the skies turn gray and stormy, and on these occasions, a fisher of men, a disciple of the Lord, sometimes out of fear, we love to say, Lord, save me because I am sinking. And the Lord with all gentleness and kindness will stretch out his hand and say, Oh, you of little faith, why do you doubt? The second image that can be used for describing the life of an SVD missionary religious priest is that of a long distance runner. To run over a long distance needs discipline. 
one has to discard unnecessary baggage. One has to make use of whatever help there is, especially the channels of poverty, chastity, and obedience, which are sometimes seen as a burden, but actually a very valuable help in becoming a missionary religious priest. And when somebody falls, stumbles, then the Lord, like a good and gentle companion and friend, will always say, Arise, get up, and take courage. After running for so long a time, there will come an occasion when somebody has to switch to walking because the life of a missionary in the SVD can be compared to a pilgrimage, a long life journey over mountains and hills, crossing forests and meadows, and sometimes coming across the beauty of nature and beautiful flowers. One's heart can be attracted, and instead of focusing on the beauty ever ancient and ever new, there is a temptation to tarry and stop along the way. On those occasions, the advice of a Jewish thinker from the 14th century by the name of Spinoza comes into play when he tells us what is this thing in the light of eternity. Or in gospel terms, the Lord would say, what does it profit a man if he gains what he wishes, but in that process loses the meaning of his life. And on those occasions, the Lord asks again and again, with all sincerity of a friend, a companion, to one who is dedicated to the society of the divine word, the Lord will ask, as he asked Peter, long time ago saying do you really love me more than these and the answer and this is supposed to be the answer throughout one's lifetime is lord you know that i love you with a love that is human and imperfect today we come together to thank the lord for the gift of this vocation to be a religious missionary priest in the society of the divine word and providentially we do so in the shade or under the umbrella of the 500 years of christianization of the philippines where we say with the motto gifted to give over these 50 years, the Lord has been very generous with his blessings. He is truly a friend, a companion, and a consoler. To this Lord, who has been so good with his grace and blessings, will be this final prayer saying, Lord, because I am blessed, therefore I give thanks, therefore I share. Amen.